We are live in Weatherford, Texas for the bi-district football game between your Henrietta Bearcats and the Indians from Comanche, Texas. Alongside me tonight, I'm Zach Byers. I've got Brad Yurko, Miles Marshman on the camera tonight, and Jake Robertson on the color commentary tonight. Bearcats come into this game. They finished as the fourth seed in their district, Comanche finished as the number one seed in their district. Big game tonight for the Bearcats. I think I'm going to go on a limb and say that the last time that these two faced each other was 2009 in the area round over in Mineral Wells, Texas. I don't think the Bearcats and the uh, Indians have matched up ever since then. We're still waiting on the Bearcats to head to the field. Comanche has just ran out as we were starting our promo. Jake, thoughts on tonight's ball game? Well, first we got beautiful weather. It's really nice in this press box. So can't wait for Henry to get one uh, here in a couple years. Uh, but great weather. Got really uh, two really good teams here in Weatherford, Texas tonight. And uh, ready for some good playoff football. Uh, last week we, or yeah, last week we said eight to state. Well, I think it's seven to state. I think I did the math wrong, obviously. Oh. I think I was a little all off on the math. Eight to state sounded really good. It did but sound good. I think, seven, I think it was seven, so now it would be six, six at this point. Six and to state. And, uh, but tonight I think they're going to have their hands full uh, with Wilkerson, number 21, a sophomore that's coming in with 2,113 yards rushing. So uh, the, he really likes to go off – off tackle and up the middle, uh, that D-line and linebackers, they're really going to uh, have to play a game of their lives tonight if they want to uh, move on to this next round. I think you're exactly right. We've got a 1,000-yard rusher ourselves and a 1,000-yard passer all in the same person with Garrett Blevins, so he's going to be crucial tonight along with a few other guys that are that play in the skill positions and a few uh, offensive linemen. And for the most part, it's going to be a, a team win tonight. If the Bearcats were to get it done, I, this Cal, this Comanche team, offensively, they I think they averaged over 35 a game. I want to say they might have been hovering right around in that area, but they did a nice job of scoring points all year long, and they really never had much competition. So one of the things I think would be a big key for the Bearcats tonight to come away with a win and continue on here in the Texas high school playoffs is if they can get off to an early start and they can kind of, uh, if they can get ahead, if they can jump out with an early touchdown, if they can get a turnover to go their way, things like that, things that would go against Comanche that they might not be used to all season, you might see a different kind of team. They're young. They may not, they, they you know, mentally, you know, sometimes that those kind of plays like that, they wear on a young team and, you know, they've been going all year long. You know, everything goes well. You know, it's, it's just easy. Everything that they do, it's just easy. And then all of a sudden they face a little adversity and then they're like, well, why isn't it going as well as it normally does? Things like that can get in the way of a young team like what Comanche's fielding. What about, uh, Jake, any other stats really stand out to you as far as the Bearcats or Comanche's bringing into this thing? No, but <clears throat> they're tied on the turnovers. Uh, Henrietta uh, is going to have to play smart ball tonight. Uh, they can't kill themselves like they have in the past couple weeks with uh, dumb penalties, especially personal fouls and stuff like that. Uh, we got we saw one get called back last week on the first offensive play of the game. Uh, but other than that, it, I mean, the stats besides that sophomore running back for Comanche, uh, they're pretty, pretty close together. Uh, Blevins. I really feel like he's going to have a big game, and I'm excited to see kind of what Henrietta does. I feel like I feel like we're going to see some new stuff tonight. Both these teams have film on each other, but Henrietta likes to run and pass. Comanche's quarterback doesn't really pass that well, but he does uh, have number 21 behind him, so he hasn't really had to. So let's see what uh, Henrietta's defense can do and. Uh, See what see what they have in store for number 21 tonight. Your captains for the Bearcats, they've been the same all year, I believe. Might have swapped out a, a few here and there. But number three, Ty Deaton. Number 13, Logan Taylor. Number 58, Connor Olbig. And number 79, Logan King. 
Four Comanche tonight, their captains. Number three, Kyler Beatty. Number seven, the quarterback, Landon Welch. You're going to hear that name quite a bit tonight. Number 40, Israel Medrano. And number 79, Ethan Morin. Bearcats are the uh, visitors tonight in this game. The coin toss just happened. Bearcats won the toss, I believe. The Bearcats did win the toss. And the Bearcats have chosen to receive the ball after winning the coin toss. They said, give us the ball. Let us go show y'all what offense is. So with that, we're going to see that Bearcat offense hit the field first, Jake. After the national anthem, of course. And we'll take a minute and let y'all listen in. Performing the national anthem this evening is the Comanche Band. Ladies and gentlemen, with that, let's play some Bearcat football. Live from Weatherford, Texas. Once again, alongside me tonight, we've got me, myself, Zach Byers. We've got Jake Robertson. We've got Brad Yurko, our executive producer. And Miles Marchman is going to be on the camera tonight for us. On to kick for Comanche. I believe it's number 17 is the kicker. 17 is the kicker. That's going to be Carlos Esquivel. We'll try with some of these names tonight. Not going to guarantee that it's always going to be right. Back deep for the Bearcats, though. These are going to be easy. Number 12, Ty Deaton. Number 9, Nick Mills. And number 18, Bryson Washington. Now, from film that I watched earlier this week, not going to really see anything deep. He's going to step back about five yards and he's going to kind of pooch this thing up so this second wave of return is going to be crucial for the Bearcats and he puts it to the 10 and makes a fool of me opening kick Ty Cantwell to the right side out across the 30 keeps going out to the 35 big return right there for the Bearcats to get this thing going <coughs> yeah oh who was that? That's Ty, that's Ty Cantwell. Cantwell, he took a lick, but I think he put the lick on more than uh, yeah. took it there. He so. definitely got to the outside really well and got that thing moving. So, here comes the Bearcat offense. Being told by Brad that we've got seven officials, so we've got three Deep, I guess the two added ones come from the two added uh, deep officials here on the sidelines. False start against the Bearcats right off the bat. You didn't need seven officials to be able to tell that one. 
Not ideal start for the Bearcat offense to get this thing going. Never easy. You don't want to make this thing harder, especially tonight, Jake. No. That's not a, that's not a good way to start it off. But Twins, backs, Blevins, and he is just met in the backfield. That's Neither number that. five. Five, Easton Gonzalez comes in from his linebacker position and absolutely destroys that play. They were in a twin set, and I think they had Bulldog back there as well. But they went to a twin set and ch just tried to do a quarterback keeper right there, and that's just gonna can, that's gonna move the chains back even farther right here. Brings up second and long for the Bearcats. They need to get out to their own 45 to convert a first down. They're gonna go twins, or they're gonna go two receivers to this near side, two to the far side. Blevins takes the snap, drops back, throws. He's got Klein out there to the right side, and can they bring him down? Clank, he's pushing. Oh, no, there's a the ball. Oh, ball's out. The Bearcats get back on it. Uh, I think they did. Yep. Connor Olbig, senior, saving the, saving the life, right, or saving their lives right there on that play. I'm surprised they didn't give Ford possession there. I mean, that was one verse eight. Yeah. I mean, they had him stood up there for a minute. One of the things that Comanche also displayed on film was just kind of a in one of the games I watched, they just really didn't tackle very well in space. We'll see if that's a trend. Trips receivers this time. Oh, no. That's just not ideal at all. Picked off number 58. 50. 50. That's Pearson Sorrells on the interception on a screen, and it's right to him, and that's a quick 6 for Comanche. That's not something that you need to go on tonight. So Comanche, with that, is going to take an early lead. Jake, what did you see right there? Uh, they rushed the house, but 50, he stayed disciplined. And actually, a couple of them did there. I mean, them three linemen took off, but uh, them linebackers, they weren't fooled at all. So uh, that's, not a, that's not the start that we wanted from jumping off sides on the very first play to – Throwing the pick six there, so. Esquivel's kick is good. Comanche takes an early 7 to nothing lead. 10-26 remaining in the first quarter. And, you know, plays, you know, those are the kind of plays that the Bearcats are going to need tonight. That's not the kind of play that they needed to be given up. But a lot of ball game left to go, and this thing still 10-26 remaining. And here comes the Bearcat offense once again. And we'll see how this ends up. Esquivel is going to line this thing up at his own 40. Nick Mills, Bryson Washington, and Ty Cantwell are going to go back. Cantwell and Washington are going to stand at the 10. Nick Mills is going to stand at the 5 in the middle of the field. Comanche breaks. Huddle. I guess that's what you'd call that. I've never really heard it referred to as the kickoff huddle, but I guess that's essentially what you would call that. I don't know what else you'd call it. Sounds good. 17 on the kick. Nick Mills is going to get a try here. Off to the right side. Takes it back up the middle a little bit, and he stretches forward, and he's going to get out to the 26-yard line, and he gets brought down. Jake, any suggestions? <laughs> On this next upcoming drive? I mean, really, you couldn't even get a, fir a read on that first drive. I mean, right. Jumped off sides, got tackled in the backfield, threw a pick six. Yep. Uh, I mean, let's, we just need Blevins here to uh, don't even think about that first drive. Yep. Uh, everybody just act like it's 0-0 zero, zero and go down there and score. Two receivers this near side, one to the far side. He's got Essler in the sniffer position. Blevins right side. He's got some room, and he... Gets off to across the 30, about the 31, 32-yard line, somewhere around in there. Jake, how about that grouping, and how about that uh, Comanche defense rallying and trying to strip that ball? Yeah, I mean, that's a, that's been every single play. Uh, I don't know if they've been doing that all season or is that that was something big this week. I didn't notice uh, it on film. When you, when you have all. a – when your best player has a cast on one hand, I'm going to say that uh, – that's probably a good coaching scheme. Probably so. Two receivers to the far side, two to this near side. Oh, no. Errant snap. Blevins gets away. Throws it away. Ooh. And that's going to be – yep, it's just going to be incomplete. 
Yeah, it's just going to be incomplete. He had Brady White over there in the area. Errant snap right there, Jake. Just one of those things, just not just not what you need on these kind of dr offensive drives. No, every, everybody needs to settle down. Uh, yep. Get so, it together. Yep. Maybe need a first down here. Yep, for Definitely sure. Definitely don't want to punt it away right here. Yep, for sure. Three receivers to the far side, one to this near side. Blevins takes a snap, drops back, throws Ty Deaton. Right side, nothing. Nothing going right there at all. Gets knocked out at about the 30, it looks like. We'll see. Yep, and here comes the punt team. Four, the Bearcats. Back deep to return. Can't really see a number. Ty Deaton's going to be the on to punt for the Bearcats. Don't really have a number yet for this kid. Oh, and it's just going to be a high punt. He almost got there. Good bounce. Good bounce for the Bearcats, and that's going to set up at the Comanche 38 30, or 39, 30, 38 or 37 and a half yard line is about where that's going to be spotted. They'll probably spot it. Yeah, they're going to spot it just short of the 38 yard line. Boy, look at this, Jake, down here to the bottom left. <laughs> How about that? What college is this? I have no idea. Look at this. Comanche comes to the line of scrimmage to receive or a bunch set and a solo receiver to the one side. Pitch out to the right side. There we Instantly go. Instantly brought down. That's 15 Luke Alexander, I think, on that play. What a read by him to get started on that play. Yeah, that's... Uh that's one of their bread and butter plays too. So, mm -hmm. I mean, if we can tackle that all night like that, that's going to be good. Three receivers to this near side, one to the far side. Welch looks to the sideline now. How many kids is this? Yeah. Three, four. That's uh, five. that's for show. Yeah, I'm thinking so. I, you know. Incomplete and wow, right here, right off the bat, Bryson Washington gets in there, helps on that incomplete pass. It was kind of overthrown a little bit too. So Welch, they go to a, uh, they try to run with Wilkerson on the first play, that goes nowhere. Welch tries to throw it on a short little slant, that goes nowhere as well. Third down and long, three receivers just near side, one to the far side. That's exactly what you want to make this offense do, though. Yep. You want to keep them right here, third. 13, 14, make this quarterback pass. Yep. He's going to throw it deep. Oh, oh, man. He had six, but he led him a little too far. That's Miguel Martinez that he led just a little too far. That's big for the Bearcats right there. Three and out yeah. to get going on defense. That was, that was great. I, I thought Mills was going to get there. but I was kind of thinking the same thing. Bryson Washington is going to go back. I think this is number one. Aiden Flash, Aiden Fishback, what a name. Fishback on to punt. Oh! Box picked up by Bulldog, Bulldog off. Did he break it? Oh my goodness. What a play for the Bearcats to get this thing started. What a play. Ball's going to be spotted on the, uh, on Comanche's 16 yard line. I think that was uh, Essler. Was Essler the one that blocked that? Yes, Esler blocks it, and Bulldog Will Jaton gets in there and returns that thing. They're going to rule him down, actually, at Comanche's own 18-yard line. So let's see this Bearcat offense go to work now after a little bit of rejuvenation right there, hopefully. Yeah, that was, a, that was excellent. That is exactly what we needed. Now we just got to punch it in. Blevins keeps it left side. He's got an alleyway. Oh, oh, oh. Inside the five. Down at the four, maybe the three. Yep, they're going to spot him at the three. Great play right there for the Bearcats to get this thing inside the five now. Just a great run. That's bread and butter. Uh, I've been just, doing that all year. Yeah, just get in right behind him. Bearcats, break the huddle. Longoria goes up top. Fletcher and Deaton. Down to the bottom side. Hand off. Blaze Deaton. Can he find his way through? He did. Touchdown, Bearcats. 
sophomore, Blaze Deaton. Yep. First touchdown, playoff career. That's there nice. you go. That's how it starts right there. It's all down. It's all nothing but up after that first one. Blevins is going to be on for the try. He's been pretty consistent all year long with these. Snaps down, holds good. Kick is good, good as well. Tie ball game, 721 remaining in the first quarter. We will run our promo, and we'll be back live here in just a minute. You're listening to Texoma Broadcasting by way of Henrietta ISD YouTube channel. Welcome this week to the Coach Johnson Show. Coach, this week uh, your team has won the last two games to – Get the playoffs. How are they? How are they feeling going into this week's game? Man, uh, you know, I think they feel real good. Uh, pretty confident in, in the way we played the last couple weeks. Obviously, uh, some stuff we still got to get cleaned up. Uh, but the, the bottom line is, uh, we've been in playoff mode really the last uh, two weeks, and the kids understand that we got to win to continue our season. So, uh, you know, I think we're in a good place, and that had to change a lot of uh, as far as our mentality goes going into this game. So, tell us about Comanche, your opponent, this first round. Man, I think they're a really good football team. Obviously, you can look at their record and it shows that they got guys that can really run, very athletic. They, they play a physical brand of football. Uh, you know, but I like our chances this week. I think we match up well. Uh, you know, and I think uh, we're going to come out and uh, get after it for four quarters. And, you know, it's the playoffs. So you're 0 and 0. It doesn't matter what the, the record was in the regular season. That's what we're going to preach to our kids all week. Uh, and we got as good a shot as anybody. So, um, you know, we're just excited about the Thursday night. All right, Coach. Well, good luck this week, and we'll talk to you next week. All right. Sounds good. We always appreciate Coach Johnson being willing to come on with Brad and do an interview every week and give us a rundown of the Bearcats, uh, where they're at this week, who their opponent or what their opponent's thoughts and everything like that. He's great football mind. He's awesome to listen to every Friday for sure. While we were doing that, the Bearcat – or uh, Garrett Blevins kicks it out of, into the end zone, so it's a touchback. So here comes Comanche's offense, led by quarterback Layden Welch on their second drive. Welch, handoff, and that's going to go to Wilkerson. Oh. Wilkerson gets to this outside, and that's what he's been doing all year long right there, breaking a tackle, and he gets loose, and that's just what you can't have right there. No, you got to tackle him. Brad. Gets to the outside. On that, where do you film that co or uh, record that, Coach Johnson show? Uh, his office. No, yeah, I could hear some weights being thrown around in the background. Yeah. That's nice. Wilkerson handoff left side gets out there and he's got a little alleyway right there and here comes Wilkerson right here. He said, "You might have stopped me that first drive, but better believe you're going to have to. I'm going to be here all night." That was great blocking. Yeah. I mean, even the wide receiver out there, I mean, he had his guy hooked up and turned him, and Wilkerson just went down the sidelines. Uh, let's see if they can get something stopped. Welch, Wilkerson to his left. Fake handoff to Wilkerson, and that's going to get out to number three. Can he get brought down? Nice touchdown saving tackle by Bryson Washington. That was number three, Kyler Beatty on the catch and run that puts Comanche quickly to the six-yard line of the Bearcats, and they're going to. The Bearcat defense is going to need to get strong here. Yeah, and that's you know, I feel like they kind of moved that inside backer or that inside uh, defender inside. Wilkerson reaches forward. They've got him down at the one. It looks like some laundry on the field in yep. the end zone. Too many men. Too many men on the field for the Bearcats. I'm oh. assuming. And that's just not something you can do. Always yep. better when they only send us four. Yeah. <laughs> uh -oh. Obviously declined. They're gonna take it. Second down and second down and goal from the one. Layden Welch. He's gonna have Sawyer Wilkerson to his left. Two receivers to the far side, one to the near side. He's got a sniffer to his left as well. Straight run for Welch, and that is going to put six more on the board for, and some confetti being thrown on the Comanche sideline. 
Welch puts it in for another six points, so it's going to be 13-7, 6-22 remaining in the first quarter. Jake, just like that, that's how fast they can score. Yeah, uh, well, you know, Wilkerson, he got a couple big runs there, a couple missed tackles, and then uh, right there, Bulldog, he missed one right up the gut, too. 17 extra point. And it is good. 14-7. Is your score? Comanche leads the Bearcats. 6:22 remaining here in the first quarter. Kind of thought this might be a uh, shootout style, and I know the Bearcats on their touchdown drive they got the ball inside of uh, inside the Comanche 20 just a minute ago, so it wasn't very far for them to go. But there was a lot of promise being shown out of that with the run by Blevins and the run by. Uh, uh, Blaze, yes, by Blaze Deaton on that as well. So that should that to me that shows promise for yeah. these future drives for the Bearcats tonight. Yeah, Henrietta, uh, they just need to do exactly what they did, which you know momentum was going down here after that blocked punt, you know, and scored in a couple plays. But they need to uh, they need to keep it rolling here and uh, get down there and get some more points. Because they have Sawyer Wilkerson right there, which I'm pretty sure they had him at negative yards that first drive. Yeah, he only had that one carry. And then now he is four carries, 40 yards. So Just like that. They're going to have to put up points if, if they're not going to stop him. Number 17, Esquivel. He's on the kick, back deep. Mills, Washington, and... There's your pooch, but Yeah, there's your pooch, and that goes out of bounds. Nice job by Bryson Washington, and I think he got really close to touching it, but the ball goes out of bounds. That's going to be a legal procedure against Comanche. So that's going to give the Bearcats some pretty decent field position to get this drive going. This is their third offensive drive. Nope, fourth offensive drive of the game already in the first quarter. What do you, you got? See, the bands. Yeah, they're getting into it over I here. Mean, they're getting crunk. Mm -hmm. I mean, how about their mascot, too? Yeah. Bearcats going to start their possession from their own 30-yard. I think it's the 30. Yep, 30-yard 30 line. Two receivers this near side. One to the far side. Esler, the sniffers to the right. Blevins drops back, throws, hits Ty Deaton. Deaton fighting, fighting DBs, and he gets up. And that's about... They're going to mark him at the 40. Give him a little forward progress. Yep, they give, they give some forward progress right there for sure, and that gives the Bearcats an immediate first down on the first play. Nice little screen right out there to the outside and let our physical athletes go to work. Yeah, yeah. And uh, one just one missed tackle right there away from break, breaking a big one. So, mm -hmm. But first down, moving the sticks. Blevins takes a snap. Fighting forward. Gains a couple, it looks like. Tackle on the play by number 55, Dom Rios. You got to be tough. Your first name's Dom. Yeah. He flew in there, and I mean, he was <laughs> snatching ankles. <laughs> second play, or third play, but second down for the Bearcats. Two receivers to the far side, two to this near side. Blevins. Has it back to his right? Takes a snap, drops back, throws. He finds Cody McMillian across the 50, across the 45, down at the 44 yard line. Cody McMillian, great catch, turned up field and got some yards. Nice play for the Bearcats right there. Yep, broke one tackle and uh, just didn't have the speed to get away, but I mean, that's a nice size gain right there. Another so, first down, keeps moving the sticks. Kind of like what we talked about on the drive down here. They just really didn't show very – their secondary really didn't show very much when it came to once you get out in space on these guys, breaking down and making the tackles. Blevins takes a snap, handoff, Deaton. Deaton looking for a lane, can't find it, gets back to the line of scrimmage. And they are grabbing at that ball. Yep. They really are. They, uh, they've they seen on film, they think that they can get the Bearcats to, uh, they think they can get the Bearcats to turn the ball over uh, fairly easy, apparently, when it comes to uh, their ball handling. 
Bearcats break huddle. We're gonna go to a trip set here with Essler as a sniffer to the left. Hand off or snap and he throws to Brady wide right there and it's incomplete. It was the behind wide. That's gonna bring up third down and ten. Not ideal for this Bearcat offense. No, and he threw a little pump fake in there. Yeah. I'm not sure if he was uh, didn't like it and wanted or if it was actually for a pump fake, but I think he just second guessed himself and should have just let it fly the first time. I was kind of questioning it too. I didn't know if he just didn't like the window that he had the first time and decided to do something different. Two receivers this near side, to the far side. Blevins takes a snap, drops back, throws quick. Out to Essler. He's got some space. 30, 25, 20. Hurdles a no. man, but he fumbled the ball. He was down. Perfect. They are going to call him. No. Nope. Oh. nope. They're giving the ball to Kenny. Nope. nope. They're moving the ball. First down. That's Bearcat. What a. I think they're, yep, they're saying Bearcat football. Yep. He said move the chains. Yeah. Yep. Woo. Boy. He, they get, he, they get, he definitely he, pointed the other way. Yeah, he pointed the other way at first, but he was given the bring on the chains. Comanche was thinking the same thing. Comanche threw all their offensive guys on the field. Bearcats, take a snap. That's Blevins. Quarterback keeper, right side. If he can beat this man, he might have a chance. Gets across, yep. and he's going to get out of bounds. They're going to give him about a five-yard run right there. Put that cast on him. Yeah, he really did put that cast on that kid. I always wonder why they run him to the left. I mean, they should run him to the right all the time. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's, got got a free, got a, he's got a club. Yeah, he really does. He's got a free hand to be able to bounce off of guys. Two receivers coming to this near side. One to the far side. Esther the sniffer to the top as well. Blevins. Keeper. Left side. Looking for an alleyway. Looking for an alleyway Ooh, still. He had it. Spins back inside. Inside the 10. He's getting oh, pushed. He's still getting pushed. Oh, my Touchdown God. Bearcats. Oh, my goodness. What a team rally to the football to push him in. Touchdown, Bearcats, just like that. Wow. Ty Deaton deserves a touchdown <laughs> for that. I mean, he picked him up at the six-yard line, and, I mean, he carried him in. Do you think he was getting – you think he was probably for progress, stopped about the six or seven right there and got pushed yeah. the rest of the way in? That was incredible. Longoria, the holder. But snaps, done, or snaps good. Holds good. Kick is also good. Just like that, Jake. 14-14. Bearcats right in this game with Comanche. 350 remaining in the first quarter. Yeah, this is a <clears throat> this is quite the shootout starting to happen. It's gonna it's gonna be a fun game. But I'd really like to see Henrietta just be the only one scoring the points. Yeah. But the let's see if they can if Broussard got the defense coached up and see if we can do something on Wilkerson here. I agree. You're gonna have to. Uh, you're gonna have to make the quarterback yeah, pass. Yeah. You're gonna have to. Uh, if you can get them stopped on that first on first down, if you can get them behind the chains, I think you might be in some favorable matchups for yeah. the rest of the night. Five is gonna be the deep return man for Comanche. Easton Gonzalez. Blevins will be the kicker. He's been the kicker all year. On all, well, I think Bryson Washington might have gotten one or two uh, chances to kick off. Kick is up. And four is going to return this thing. He's looking for an alleyway. He's still moving forward. He gets out to almost the 35. I think he might spot him at the 34. Nope, 35. Number four is Caden Davis for them. That's another sophomore. Jack, they've got a lot of sophomores on the, and juniors on this roster they do. for they're, Comanche. Their teams are really young. They're going to bring a lot of these guys right back next year. Yeah, and you know, Henrietta, they got quite quite a young team also. Yeah. I mean, they got uh, their junior class is really nice. Welch, handoff, Wilkerson. Up the middle, and he can smoke. Breaks through. Oh, tackle by number nine, Nick Mills, right there. It's a Roy Williams special right there, Jake. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, with the extra two refs in the back, I can't believe. I mean, if I was Comanche's coach, I was gonna, uh, I'd be asking what they're, what they're here for. Yeah. Welch. 
Handoff Wilkerson. Gets about three, maybe four right there when it's all said and done. It might have been a smart play, let him run that long, get him a little tired. Yeah, maybe. Now we're in a second and seven. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. Never know. Yeah, never know. I don't know why they wouldn't hand it to him <laughs> the next three plays, though. Welch. Handoff Wilkerson. He's up to this right side looking for some space. Mm. He's not going to get a first down yet. I kind of thought Nick Mills might have drawn a hold right there on that outside receiver. I thought so, too. He acted like it. Yeah, but I I guess not. It's going to be third and short. This prime time Comanche football right here. That's exactly where they want, want to be on offense. A lot of different ways they can go about this thing. Welch. He's going to keep it left side, looking for an alleyway. He's going to find the alleyway and get tripped up. Almost. But that's after he picks up the first down. He's going to be spotted at the 25-yard line. It brings up another first down for Comanche. Clock winding away, 2.30 remaining in the first quarter. You score Bearcats 14, Henrietta 14. Bearcats are right here in this ball game. Need, uh, need a defensive stop here. And get the ball back to this offense. Welch, handoff, Wilkerson, left side. Nope, he kept it. Throws it up the middle. Did he catch it? I think he caught that. He paid for it. Yeah, he definitely paid he for it. it. Number six, Miguel Martinez catches that ball up the seam. Touchdown, Comanche. Yeah, he got hit by at least three different defenders for the Bearcats on that play. I was wondering if the staff was going to make it out. Yep, here they come. Check the ribs on that one. I'm being told by Sarah's brother that because Nick Mills didn't bring him down immediately, that it's not a flag. I guess there's a. Uh, I guess they had a change to that rule. Number seven would be the holder, Layden Welch. Number seventeen, Esquivel. Kick is up, and it appears to be good. Yep, it's good. 21-14 is your score. Bearcats trail Comanche. 2.06 remaining in the first quarter. And the Bearcats just, once again, now it's time for the offense to go back to work here. Ble and, you know, Blevins, he got that little bit of time off. Now it's time for this, uh, now it's time to go back to work. Yep, got it. Looks like we're going to have to just keep up and keep scoring with yep. them. Yep. Uh, Wilkerson there with two minutes and six seconds in the first quarter is at seven carries for 76 yards. <laughs> yeah, he can uh, he can scoot, and we're probably going to see and that's with that. probably his first two carries going for negative. Yeah. So he he's starting to turn it on, and they're going to have to get something figured out on that part. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, they got to keep on scoring. Yep. 20, no, that's 17. Carlos Esquivel on the kick. He's kicked to all three return men for the Bearcats so far. Let's see which one he wants to pick this time. He's going to pick Ty Cantwell, and that ball is going to go out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. That ball that bounced right. Ball. Yeah, I was about to say, that ball was a knuckleball, and it bounced right over the top of Cantwell's head. He jumped up, and that ball was still way too high for him to even think about getting uh, getting a hand on. It's probably a good thing he didn't get a hand on it. He, him getting a hand on it and not fielding it cleanly, that might have popped that thing right up in the air, and there's no, no telling what how bad that could have ended up. Nonetheless, here comes the Bearcat offense. Two receivers to this near side. One to the far side, Longoria up top, Ty Deaton in the slot down here with a close split to Jacob Fletcher. Klein Essler has a sniffer behind the right tackle. Blevins takes a direct snap, and he's going to go right to the right side looking for a lane. Got about two, maybe three when it's all said and done. We'll see what the spot looks like. And that's going to be that's kind of been the Bearcats' offense, and that's who they're going to continue to rely on here. They're going to rely on him to 
Dean can dunk this thing away as far as yardage, Jake. Yes, sir. He's been good at it all season. Must stop now. Mm -hmm. Second and eight for the Bearcats. Two receivers this near side, two to the far side. Blevins takes a snap, drops back. Double move right there. He was looking for Mel Ooh. Miguel Longoria. There we go. Oy. Hold him. Yeah. Yeah. That was evident. That's the only thing that stopped him from yeah. They hit, scoring. Probably. Yeah, they hit him with a double move right there. And it worked out really well. Which I like that. I mean, Henrietta, they're I mean, they love that quick little screen out there, that uh, little quick out. Yep. And uh I mean, we were talking about that a second ago. Uh, That's a, uh, a break. They need to they yeah. need to do a fake uh, fake screen or something, block and go. For sure. And right there, they hit them with the double move and without holding that. I think that would have had a really good chance at six. I think you're exactly right. Two receivers to the far side, two to this near side. Blevins takes a snap, drops back. It's a quick throw to Miguel Longoria out to that right side, and he gets probably. They're going to mark him out. He stepped out. Oh, he stepped out after a three yard gain or a four yard. Now, nope, about a two yard gain when it's all said and done. They need to make this glass magnified. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm with you. We're a long ways up here. We really are. Two receivers this near side to the far side. Blevins take, drops back, throws Ooh. Klein Essler incomplete. Just in and out of the hands of Essler right there. Just didn't see that thing all the way in. No, nope, he, was, he was looking upfield. He had a little bit of room, too. He, uh, whenever you get guys like Klein and Deaton out in space like that, that's just got to be a good feeling for them because most of the time they're going to outsize the kids that they're going to run up against in, sec in the secondaries for other teams. That's just got to be a good feeling for them to get the ball out there in open space. Oh, oh, boy. Yeah, that's a legal procedure. Bearcats were not on the line of scrimmage. Fletcher was still running out here. I did not. To get lined up. Yeah, I didn't see the clock. I don't know if it was dwindling down or if they just tried to snap that really quick. I uh, but that was the stuff we talked to about a little bit in the pregame. Mm -hmm. I mean, they can't can't be hurting themselves, especially yeah. like now. We're in third and 13. Yep. Yeah, not ideal. The Bearcats have shown that they can, you know, throw the ball quite a bit and everything like that, but you don't want to get in situations where you're – it's evident you're going to throw. Blevins drops back. Fires over the middle, incomplete. They got tipped at the line. Yeah. So that's going to be incomplete. He was looking for Brady Wide right there, and even if Wide would have caught it, he was still going to be short of the line to gain. Essler lines up over the ball, so that means we're going to be in a punt scenario. Ty Deaton's going to run back there to punt. And for Comanche, number three, Kyler Beatty is going to go back. He's going to put his heels on his own 29-yard line. Good punt by Ty Deaton right there. That ball is going to get a Bearcat roll and keep on trucking. Nice punt right there. Down to the Comanche 14-yard line, and that's where they will begin their next drive. They are up seven on the Bearcats. They're up 21-14. Last time they got the ball when they were up, though, Ended up being a three and out. So we'll yeah. see if the Bearcats can uh, get this all, get their get the Comanche offense tamed down a little bit and uh, get the ball back to this offense. Twenty six seconds remaining in the first quarter. Welch. They try Comanche tried to get a uh, try to get the Bearcats to jump off sides right there. Welch has Wilkerson to his left. Hand off Wilkerson, left side, looking for room, tackled. Gain of about one, two, three, four yards. That was a good job, too. The middle backers, they they uh, they really stayed their lane, and they filled yeah. and plugged right there great. Yep. Uh, I think it was Essler who he really uh, got off his block there good and uh, kind of stopped that whole play up. That's going to be the end of the first quarter.
Bearcats 14, Comanche 21. We'll go to the second quarter. We'll take a quick break and look at our promo. <laughs> Patrick Edwards is an awesome program. Actually, the guy leading it, Mark McKinney, taught me in middle school. I was part of the special class, and everything he's saying and trying to teach for our futures to get out of our classroom is exactly stuff he did in this classroom. Made a profound impact on my life, and I can't wait to do the same here. I work with schools all over the country, and Indiana, one of my favorite districts in the country. I love how you guys run kids, and what you're doing with the new kids is absolutely amazing. Uh, I'm actually getting to train right now some new hires that are coming on you this year, and they're just having a blast, and I can't wait for them to be part of the team here in Indiana. We're back live in Weatherford, Texas. Weatherford is home of the 6A, Weatherford Kangaroos. Oh, yeah. But that's not who the Bearcats are playing tonight. They're playing the Comanche Indians, and they are led Ooh. by this man right here, running back number 21, Sawyer Wilkerson, as he picks up another first down for the Indians. Tackling. I mean, they yep. have him right there about a yard deep. I mean, yep. if he wraps him up and at least just – holds him for a second right. uh, that he does not get that first down there just just another missed tackle Welch looks to the sideline he's got Wilkerson to his right two receivers to the far side one to this near side and that's going to be a keeper and taken down well they had him down They had him down almost immediately in the backfield. Might have even had him for a loss. I think that was Logan Taylor that got back there on that. But uh, Welch was able to get a few more yards out of that. Brings up second down. Welch has another back with him. That's number 30, Cade Bowman. But they're probably going to hand off to Wilkerson right here. Hand off Wilkerson just like I said, off to the right side. He's looking for Sace. And picks up another first down, and it's just that easy for them. Yeah, I, I mean, this is kind of giving me flashbacks of Callisburg a little bit. Yeah. And at halftime, hopefully, they they see something where they will move a safety up or something to help with this. Cause, right. I mean. Welch, quarterback keeper. Oh, oh no. no, not ideal. Oh, boy. And I'm questioning. <laughs> Brad says I don't, he doesn't think that they're going to call it against him. False start. Okay, false start. Boy, I was just really worried that they were going to give an unsportsman. After, they were going to do an after the play <laughs> personal foul. Because Ken and Cody really went in there. Yeah, and I mean, he got a free shot on Layden Welch right there. Welch. Be nice if they had just went and blocked. Cannon all night. Yeah, <laughs> and then he could. Yeah, yeah, that would be uh, that'd be ideal. Welch comes to the line of scrimmage. He's got Wilkerson to his left, and it's going to be a quarterback keeper to this left side. Welch looking for a lane. Another oh, flag man. on the play. Welch slides down after a big gain. We'll see what the flag is for though. Holding against. Comanche, so that's going to move them back again. So they, Comanche is moving themselves back pretty far. They're not at Holiday when we played them in district yardage territory, but they're a long way away. I think that was like first and thirty. This is getting in. This is slow, starting to creep into that territory. It's not there yet, though. Welch. Yeah, we're 25. Yeah, they, yeah this is exactly what exactly what you need them on. Yeah, I mean, if you get a, uh, you know, no gain here. Yeah, Welch, he's gonna drop back, looking for a man. Oh no! Jeez. Three was wide open. First play 
first in a long way, and Welch finds Kyler Beatty for a first down. Yeah, and they just played a zone there, and I mean, that quarterback put it right there on the sidelines, right in a little pocket. I mean, well, no bueno. Wilkerson to his left. Snap, Welch, handoff, Wilkerson. He's tackled pretty quick, but he's you know he's a pretty tall kid too. He can lean, he can lay, or he can just stretch out forward and pick up a lot more. And they really didn't give him no. as much as I thought they were going to give him right there. Second down. Snap, handoff. Oh, oh! Welch just misses his connection with Miguel Martinez, and if he finds him, <laughs> that's a touchdown. I mean, if that guy would have caught that, that would have been Sports Center top play. Yeah, that was a he was laying out there, and he did get one hand on it. And it's like it's like they're running uh, three cover three there because I mean they just split that seam and. Mm -hmm. uh, Oh, doesn't matter anyway. There's a penalty on the play against Comanche. So once again, they're going to get moved back. It's going to be second and 12. What, what what was the call? I have no idea. It was a five-yard penalty of some type, I guess. Because they were. it was second and seven, and they're looking at 12 now. Maybe a legal man downfield? Maybe so. Welch, handoff. Nope, faked it. Throws out to, finds number one right there up to seams. The Comanche Indians are taking control of this game by going to the air with these throws up to seam right now. Number one, Aiden flashback on the catch right there. So once again, they get bought out by these, by another throw from Welch. Yeah, I'd probably, I'd probably run, run a little bit of man here. Yeah. They're, they're finding little pockets in these yeah. zones and I mean, they're. Exploiting them. Welch, Wilkerson to his right. Hand off Wilkerson. It's a keeper by Welch. He's looking forward and he's just barreling forward. Nice little run by right there by Welch. About a nine yard gain right there. So, Welch comes up to the line of scrimmage. He's got Wilkerson to his right. Timeout, Comanche. We will take one as well. Bearcats 14, Comanche 21, 814 remaining here in the second quarter. To bring back all of the tools that we are learning to make sure that every kid feels successful and will be able to learn how to treat others well and to also help to facilitate their classmates to be successful as well. During the pioneer days, the prospectors the beautiful grasslands of Twenty Brown, Lake County, was one of the first initiative in cattle raising. Jungle. 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 At one time, Henry Adder was the center of the buffalo hunters. Many European hunters long day of playing, shooting buffalo. Henry Adder was not easy. In fact, it was organized twice. We're back live here in Weatherford, Texas. Comanche comes to the line of scrimmage. Welch, handoff Wilkerson, and he gets the first down. He doesn't get very far on the carry, about four yards. But once again, Jake just picking up these first downs just like that. And he continue, and uh, Wilkerson continues to just add to that rushing total that he's already got in this game. 8:09 remaining in the second quarter. Welch has Wilkerson to his right. Snap. Rolls out. He's looking for a man. Oh, Caught it. Oh. Man, oh man. Just a post right up. And just a post. Just uh, it looked like a traditional post, and Miguel Longoria was just out of place right there. And that's gonna be. Another Comanche touchdown. Welch connects with number six, Miguel Martinez. And Welch took a hit there, but I mean, yeah, he's off to the he's off the sideline right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
17 on the kick, and I believe that's going to be good. Yep, it's going to be good. So your score is going to be 28, Comanche 28, Henrietta 14. Jake, we're going to need that offense to come alive. Yes, and and we're going to need a, the offense to come alive, and now you're in the yeah. Now you're if you're counting possessions and everything like that, you know you still got a long way to go in this ball game, but you're going to have to probably steal a possession from them, and you're going to have to get a stop at some point too. Yeah, and I mean they didn't just run down the field there. No. Which, granted, they killed themselves with penalties there. They had three or four pretty good sized penalties on that drive. Yeah. But I mean, at least they kind of slowed them down. They didn't just march on down the field like that, but. The defense has to get a stop, or, I mean, Wilkerson, he really wasn't even that big of a factor there. It was no. uh, Welch with the passing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you had told the Bearcat coaching staff that they were going to have a drive uh, with four penalties, they're probably saying, okay, well, we got off the field on that one then. And, uh, no, you didn't. You, they uh, surrendered, or <laughs> they ended up with a touchdown out of it. 17, Esquivel on the kick. It's up. Cody McMillian is going to catch it. He's going to take off to the right side. He's looking for some space, and he's brought down at the 31-yard line of the Bearcats, and that's where their offensive drive will begin. Jake, any thoughts on what the Bearcats might be able to do to uh, get something going on offense this drive? I'll just stick to the game plan. I mean, what they've been doing has been working. You know, uh, I would just stick to it. Maybe – uh, that out and up, I'd go back to it. Yeah. I mean, or do that little fake screen, block mm -hmm. and go. Yep. And then uh, if it's not there, I don't want Blevins to start trying to force something. Right. Do what he's done all year long, and that's tuck it and run because he's great at that also. Yeah. Blevins, he's getting out to the outside. There he's he still goes. got some space, keeps running. Big play right there. Boy, I, there really wasn't much. It never looked like they, he had like the greatest running lanes, but he found his way. He through does that, thing. that all the time. I think they gotta rub him down with oil or something <laughs> before the game because he slips through these cracks like it's a, it's unbelievable. He really does. He does. He does a nice job of finding his way through the uh, through all these zones. Blevins has Deaton to his right. Quick throw out to Ty Deaton. Ooh, He's tackled just about immediately. McMillian on that play, he right there. You have one job in that on that yeah. play, and you have got to get to that yep. corner. You got to get him blocked. blocked. Yep, got to get him blocked. You can never stop. Otherwise, you're going to leave him hanging, and you might yep. leave Blevins hanging if he doesn't get that ball there exactly right. Yep. Because if that if that corner does make a good enough break on it, yep. he can pick it. Yep. And nobody's catching him. If uh, yeah, those are running start. Yeah, those are dangerous. Blevins, two receivers to the far side, two to this near side, drops back. Go, no, Esler, there he is. He's, He's going to find a man. Oh! Oh! Esler down the sidelines. I oh, oh, man, really if he had that look. Yeah, if he had had a little bit of time, he might have had Esler. Yep, he and was that, streaking down this sideline. And that was a great – I mean, he came out and acted like he was going to block that corner, and then he just trickled up the sideline. Yeah. Blevins had a lot of people in his face, but, uh, it, I mean, that was, a, that was great by uh, Coach Tiller and Coach Johnson on drawing that one up. Yeah, for sure. Two receivers to the far side, two to this near side. Blevins takes a snap. He's going to keep it fighting forward. He's into Comanche territory, and it's going to be fourth down and one, two, three, four, five, about six or seven is what it's going to look like. Nope, it's going to be about six, I think, when it's all said and done. So... I'd like a hard count here. I think the Bearcat offense is going to stay on the field for sure. You might see that hard count, Jake. Boy, they just don't have any safety help over the top. They are manned up on the bottom side for sure. Drops back. Blevins, deep ball. Come on. Oh, man. Jacob Fletcher just, I don't know if he quit running. I don't know if he didn't think the ball was yeah. coming here or what. I man. mean, that's just not... I don't know if he thought that there was a flag and that was that meant the play was over or what was going on there. I think that had to be the. He did jump, but there was no flag. Yeah, yeah, I think that had to be the deal. He thought they jumped because, I mean, he got 10, 15 yards down the field and just quit. Yeah. So here comes the Bearcat defense, down two possessions. They need a stop in a bad way. You do not want Comanche to take a three possession lead in this ball game. 
Two receivers to this near side, one to the far side. Welch has Wilkerson to his right. Snap, handoff, nope, keeper by Welch. And he's running up the left, right side. Another flag coming from a back judge here. We'll see what this penalty is. Holding against Comanche again. So, it's going to be second down and eight because of his, because it's a spot foul from right there where the penalty occurred. On 20. Oh, it's first down and eight. I'm wondering if they didn't just, if they didn't change the, no, it would be first and eight, I guess, when it's all said and done. Welch, a little bit of an option right there. He gets to this right side, or out to this left side. And Wilkerson picks up about s probably six. That's going to make this second and two from the Bearcat 45-yard line. Bearcats kind of needing a stop. Clock is also creeping down, 520 remaining in the first half. Welch and the Comanche offense look to the left to the Comanche sideline. Snap. Can be a throw. Finds his man. That's number six on the catch for the Indians. It's Miguel Martinez. He was tackled just about immediately on the play. First and 10, ball spotted at the 41-yard line of the Bearcats. Needing a stop, Jake. In a bad way. Welch has Wilkerson to his left. Hand off Wilkerson. Pretty quick stop right there, actually. Two-yard gain for Wilkerson on that play. And that's some positive light right there. Yeah, I mean, after... That first quarter, I mean, they've held Wilkerson. I mean, they've held him great, but yeah. it's been Welch with yeah. through the air yeah, and now, on the ground. Yeah, they, uh, the run has softened up the Bearcat or tightened up the Bearcat defense inside, and now Comanche's using that to uh, exploit the Bearcats through the air. Two receivers is near side, one to the far side. And it's going to be Wilkerson on that outside. Can the Bearcats get him down pretty quick? And they do. But just he, like he, that, a four, yeah. could it make the tackle, you get a yep. four-yard loss. Yep, for sure. The Bearcats really had a nice chance to uh, get that thing stopped in the backfield. Now you're looking at third down and one, two, three, four, five, six. Third and six for the Bearcats. This is a huge third down play for this defense. Two receivers to the far side, to the near side for Welch. Wilkerson to his right. Timeout Comanche. They didn't like what was being called. Welch was kind of looking at the sideline like, I don't, uh, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> looking at his, I don't know if that's his offensive coordinator, if that's just their coach that's relaying the, the plays in. The problem in. there was he was looking at his coach and not the uh, kids with the signs. Yeah, probably so. He was, he'd get to play better if he'd get the six kids they have down there with huge poster boards. I'm calling willing plays. to bet those are just uh, <laughs> decoys. I don't know if you're putting uh, I don't know if you're really putting uh, big responsibility on on those kids to especially since they don't have a they don't have headsets so they're not really getting to hear formations or <laughs> scheme or anything like that. I don't know what <laughs> they just they probably told them, hey, just point to what it just point to something different every single time but yeah. <laughs> make it look like you know what you're doing down there. But I could be wrong. Big third down. It is a very big third down here. If the Bearcat defense can get a pass or run. I let me see what they line up in. <laughs> two two by two. Yeah, I think they're gonna try and uh, throw right over the top of either Essler or McMillian down here in between Jaton and them. Yep, there's your throw. 
What? Oh my goodness, down the seam or I, and just got him on a go. That's you, number is that oh that's eight. Diego Gutierrez gets involved with his first catch of the game right there. I mean, you have Alexander and McMillian there. I mean, both your yeah. guys you're yeah. running a little uh, little zone there, but both your guys are running streaks. I mean, you got to back up. Nobody's coming underneath you. Yep. You're leaving Longoria back there by itself. Yep. Three receivers this near side, one to the far. Welch, hand off Wilkerson to this left side, and Alexander gets up in there, and it's going to be about a one-yard gain for uh, Wilkerson when it's all said and done. So, once again, the Bearcats get a decent little stop right there. 2.38, though, clock not your best friend right now. Comanche will get the ball in the second half, or to start the second half. Two by two formation. Welch rolls out to his right side. He's got a, I don't know if he caught that. He, I guess he did. They've got two officials over there that say he did, so it's hard to not believe it. Oh, no, they did really him out of bounds. So they come back, so those those two officials get together, and I wonder if that back judge was the one that on that sideline, the one that came in and said, hey, his foot was already out of bounds. He he did not catch that thing. There's that extra ref for us. Hey, hey, there you go. Hey, worth the money. Yeah. Easy. Two by two. Oh, come on. Not that way. That's not what I was meaning no. by that. You're telling everybody our secret. <laughs> two by two formation. Well, nope, not going to get there. Incomplete. He tried to throw a post. Now here's a big decision for Comanche right here. What do they want to do? I did. I'd go for I, it. I don't know if I ever saw 17 kick. No, he's not out there, so it's definitely not going to be a kick. They're going to go. Well, nope, they are going to line up to kick this thing now. So there he goes. He ran out there with a T? Did you can use a T in high school. Well, I knew you could use one, but I just. Do we use one? Yep. Huh. Boy. Things you just don't know you didn't pay attention to till it happens. Kick is up. Boy, I think he got that, actually. No good. Oh, wow. Nope. No good. Wide left. There nice job. Great stand for the Bearcat yeah. defense right there. 216 now remaining in the first half, and this would be a huge possession. Gotta get points. Yep. If you can get some if you well, if you can get a touchdown here, I guess you'd take a Field goal, if you got close enough into Bovin's range. I don't know exactly what his range is necessarily, but I think Bearcats are touchdown or bust team when it's all said and done. Yeah, I mean, they, they got to go down there and get a touchdown. Uh, Not the L9 touchdown Bearcats. Here. They can't just throw Blake Weist out there and kick a 50-yarder. He's got to find his shoes first. Yeah. yeah. We didn't, we didn't re rely on him. Yeah, y'all really didn't need him all that much for distance. Two receivers to the near side, to the far side. Blevins, quarterback keeper, up the middle. He's got some space. No, oh, 45, 50, 45, oh. keeps going. 40, uh, 30. Oh, oh. My good no. Oh, no. He's saying he's down. Yeah. He's saying he's down. Far guy's saying he's down. Oh, they're saying he's down. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's down again. Saved again. No, and Coy Comanche is going to be really upset once again. And, uh, that's not the uh, Indians' ball. Boy, I got tongue-tied right there. What a run. Yeah. I thought you were speaking a different language. <laughs> I kind of did, too. <laughs> Boy, that was... Those are tough. Those long plays like that, those are tough. Boy, Evans. Oh, you false start. Got to make sure your receivers are set. And the Bearcats false start. That's just not what you needed right there. 151, though. Huge play, though, previously by Blevins. And what a what a good backwards juke. Yes. I mean, and Cody McMillian to stay conscious enough blocking that he didn't yeah. block in the back, that he just got in, he got in the way, and he made sure he was head up with the guy that he got in front of the block right there. Two receivers to the near side, to the far side. Throws. He's got Bryson Washington. Washington keeps fighting. Nice catch by the young by the uh, youngster right there, sophomore. Nice catch by him, and nice job getting that thing, uh, putting that ball the right direction. Yeah, got the yardage back. Yep. So second and nine here. Yep. We need a touchdown. Do need a touchdown. Blevins. 
has Deaton to his right. Two receivers to the near side, two to the far side. Blevins drops back, throws. Oh, oh in and out of the hands of Cody McMillian. Mm, that would have been a uh, that have been a nice little catch right there to set up third and about five, maybe four, whenever yeah. it was all said and done. Yeah, manageable. Yep, for sure. Still probably two down territory regardless for oh, the Bearcats. 100%. 106 remaining in the first half. Bearcats still have all three timeouts as well. So we'll see how they want to attack this third down and nine scenario. Blevins, quarterback keeper, right side, trying to find some space. Ooh. And gets back to the line of scrimmage. Be third down and nine. Bearcats are going to call a timeout. Be fourth and nine when it's all said and done. 58 seconds remaining. Jake, what do you think they're talking about over there on the uh, in that Henrietta circle right now? I would go back to their post. We haven't seen it tonight yet. And uh, You got a guy that you want to run it? You got a, you got a particular receiver you want on it? Yeah. What? Draw. Yeah. Oh, drums? Draw. Oh, draw. Oh, quarterback draw. Oh, Brad's, yeah. calling, Brad's saying quarterback draw with Blevins. Don't even think about throwing it. <coughs> I, I put Essler across the middle. I think you. I think if you can get Essler across the middle, and then, maybe. But if it's not there, or if that uh, safety's sitting in the middle just waiting on it, I'm pulling it if I'm Blevins. And I'm put I, I could be probably be talked into a deep and deep drag or a deep and post. And a Klein deep drag, or if, I, yeah, if both of those two lined up like or if opposite they, slots. Yeah. If they could block it uh, better than they did last time, I would really like to see that slant uh, wheel route with Essler going up the sideline again. Right. Trip set to the right side. That safety sitting in the middle of the field. Now they go empty. Don't know if they. I don't know middle if they're open. It. Yep. There it is. He's got Klein. Oh, oh. in and out of his hands. Oh, man. Got to catch that. In and out of his hands. Klein Essler almost with a huge play right there. 54 seconds remaining. Great play design, though. Great, great play design right there. I, they were not ready for empty at all. No, I mean. That, uh, that's, that was a heads-up play by that safety to run out there with Can and Cody. I don't know if it wasn't a first read. Hey, if nobody goes out there on him, he's going up the seam. Give it to him. Yeah. Two receivers in the backfield with Welch, or two running backs in the backfield with Welch. False start, Comanche. Comanche kind of starting to implode on offense a little bit when it comes to just... <laughs> they're, they're, they're not scared to get a penalty. They, uh, they are not. Helps us, though. It does help the Bearcats. They are going to continue... They got 52 seconds, yeah. and I think they're going to try to go down there and score as best oh, they can here. For sure, they want to. Uh, they only got one timeout, but yeah, they definitely want to. Uh, half, so yeah, they want to score right here. Welch takes a snap, handoff Wilkerson, the big play guy. Oh man, 50, 45, 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 10, five touchdown Comanche, just like that. And boy, not getting that touch, not getting a touchdown on that last drive for the Bearcat offense is a yep. killer. 79 yard touchdown. Now, yep. you could have ran the clock down. You could have gone to uh, halftime. Probably, we don't know at all, but we could probably envision that the Bearcats would have been down by a touch, by a possession when they came back out. We'll, but regardless, this is the hole that they're going to go into halftime with. 35 potentially, 34 as it sits, kick is up and it is good. 35-14, Comanche leads your Henrietta Bearcats with 41 seconds remaining in the first half. Jake, now the question becomes, with two timeouts remaining and 41 seconds, and if you get a first down, you know, the clock stops. Do the Bearcats have enough time to drive down, you think, and get a touchdown? Yeah, yeah, they got time. Uh, but the whole deal is you got your first play is really going to set your tone. Yeah. So, I mean, if you get a, I mean, if you get a good first play here, you know you're really going to start pushing it. Uh, but, I mean, you can't have the penalties. No. And you cannot 
uh, you know, take a big sack here. You don't want to burn timeout because you took a sack. Yeah. Uh, I'd, I'd really like to go that wheel route. I'd like to see or another post. I love that play call down here uh, on fourth down. I mean, yeah. we just got to catch that. Mm -hmm. Granted, it was a little low, but I mean, fourth and eight like that, you got you got to you got to bring that one in. I feel like with mobile quarterbacks like Blevins too, whenever you go empty, you force that defense to really spread out a lot more than they really want to. Oh no! no. Oh man! Ball off of Ty Cantwell. And it goes right into the arms of Comanche. And, boy, that's not what you want to do. 38 seconds remaining in the first half. And, boy, if there was ever a scenario that you just want to get out of this thing and leave it how it is, it's right now. The Bearcats would love to go to halftime right now, 35-14. They're going to have some work to do, though. Yeah, we were talking about somebody scoring in uh, timeout. Thinking about Henrietta, us, but yeah, they are prime. I think I think what our discussion on the sideline right now is going to be is watch the seams that yeah. that slot receiver going up the seam. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it's been there, and pretty much everything in zone has. Yeah, uh, they got to be on the same page here on their uh, pass defense. So. Yeah, they have to be uh, – everybody has to know their assignment for sure right here. 38 seconds is more than enough time for this offense to go to work, especially when they, you give them this, this good a field position right there. So, first and 10 coming up for Comanche on the Bearcat 25-yard line. Welch is going to come out. Wilkerson to his right, who really hasn't been that big of a factor. Well, I mean, he's, I mean, he's been a big fa he's, he's a big factor, but he he was quiet in that second yes, quarter until that until that big run. run right oh, there. Look oh no, that's a Texas special that right is there. Bijan Robinson special right there. Yeah. I mean, Jake watches that play every Saturday. Touchdown, Comanche. Halfback wheel route out of the backfield, and Bearcats just were not ready for that one. I like it a lot better when my team does it. Yeah, I know the feeling. Here we go. Esquivel on to kick another PAT. Snap. Oh, oh what? Luke Alexander out here to this right side. That was Esler <laughs> with another block. Esler, he pulled uh, Bobby Wagner there. He completely yep. ran and jumped right over the center. Yep. That was a nice, nice athletic play by him. <laughs> so, Comanche now leads 41-14. 31 seconds now. Now the Bearcats have to return, field the kickoff, obviously, make a somewhat of a return. And I think you're kind of going to want them to have a decent return. I think if you get across the 30, maybe, or uh, if you get any farther than the 30, I think the uh, I think the staff might think about something. They've got one timeout remaining, but at the same time, uh, with how these last 30 seconds have gone for the Bearcats, you you might be more inclined to just go to halftime and get the guys rallied and get everybody to quit thinking about the first half. Yeah. I mean, they're going to need a huge rally in the second half to overcome mm -hmm. this. Not that the offense hasn't shown that they can do it. Nick Mills. Nope. It's going to be Cantwell. Going to get a little redemption right here. He's out to the race, off to the races. He was running hard right there. He really wanted to redeem himself right there. He almost gets across the 30, but he gets out to the 29. Ball's going to be spotted at the 29-yard yeah, line, right hash. That's where the Bearcat offense will begin. 26 seconds remaining in the first half with Comanche up 41-14. 
three down linemen, potentially four, depending on what this guy wants to do. Yep, four down linemen for Comanche. Blevins, three receivers to the far side. A little swing right out here to Blaze Deaton. He keeps fighting forward. Clock's going to continue to run. 15. Ball to the ref. Hurry up. Yeah, I don't think that's the plan nope. exactly. I'm just going to go to the second half. Yep. I think we're going to go to this. Oh, they gave it to him. Yeah. They said, yep. Take off. Ooh. Uh, that's not the way you want to well, see that go. But here we go. On to the, on to halftime. Bearcats down 41-14. We're going to go, we're going to take some, we're going to watch, uh, or we're going to place these uh, videos we've got for y'all tonight. Uh, we're going to let y'all listen to the band here in a little bit. And uh, we'll come back, we'll throw some stats around. We'll talk about some second half adjustments we'd like to see. And uh, we'll be back with y'all shortly, here in a minute. Stay tuned. You're listening to Texoma Broadcasting by way of Henrietta ISD on their YouTube channel.
working on getting live. I have no audio. Scott, talk about tackling somebody. <laughs> might, get, might get that back. <laughs> oh, are we live now? Jake, you got me? I don't have... No. I'm not hearing either of us. What about now? Testing, 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 testing. Okay. Brad's got us. You know what? Let's check this out. Where is that other one? No. Right here. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Oh. Got us? I got a text saying we're live. We are live. <laughs> All right. I just can't hear y'all. So I, can't, I can't hear you either, Jay. We'll just work <laughs> through it. Uh, Thank you, Raleigh. <laughs> the We are back live here in Weatherford, Texas, home of the Weatherford Kangaroos. The Bearcats are playing the Comanche Indians in their bi-district round of the playoffs. Got a mountain to climb here. If you're just now joining us, Comanche leads 41-14. They had three touchdowns, three touchdowns, two touchdowns with, and within the last 50 sec or within uh, 56 seconds of each other, or within the last 56 seconds of the first half. Uh, big long run by their running back, and then their running back ends up catching a uh, touchdown pass uh, after a uh, fumbled. After we fumbled the ball on kick, the kickoff return, the uh, big thing going forward now, the Bearcats are going to have to get quite a few stops on defense now to uh, get this thing going. And Jake, what do you think we got to do to get that done? I mean, the score is pretty out of hand right now but I mean first off they got to tackle number 21 Wilkerson has went uh, after having a very quiet second quarter I mean he had a hundred and seven yards in the first quarter and until that last big run he uh, he ended up with 194 so he only had about 80 uh, yards in the second quarter and one of those was a 78 yard run so I mean they did great on him but Welch really he surprised I think everybody up here uh, with the passes he was throwing up the seam and uh, even the even the routes on the side uh, that post in the end zone that he threw he just kind of lofted up and uh, he stood in the pocket and took a big hit and uh, Henry is getting there just a little late but main thing is they got a tackle and uh, they got to play their play their own football. Hopefully, they don't come out down and out. Uh, yeah. The coaches uh, had, I'm sure they had to do some pep talking up there, but uh, hopefully, they get in here and uh, play some good Bearcat football and uh, try to get this a little closer. Not to inspire, or just to inspire a little bit of hope. If everybody will remember back to uh, the Falcons, blowing the Super Bowl lead, 28 to three. That was a 25 point differential. Well, the Bearcats stand at a 27-point differential right now, so it could happen. Yep. <laughs> Great analogy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was not coming into this second half thinking we were going to have a Tom Brady and Garrett Blevins comparison. <laughs> hey, hey, here we are. Hey. <laughs> yeah, uh, Brady's hand wasn't broken. Oh. The there only difference. Yep. And Brady didn't run for a thousand I think yards, Garrett, so I, Garrett might be better. I think I would put my money on Garrett in a foot race, too. Yeah. I, I think I would do it. Backwards. Ah, yeah, probably so. Blevins on the kick to get this opening second half started. Oh! God! Nice. There catch there on the go. ball! Onside! Hey, there you go, right there. That's what yeah. you needed. Bearcats will start the second half. They steal a possession from Comanche right off the bat. 50-yard line is where the Bearcat offense will take the ball and look to go and score. So here we go. After the big onside recovery by the Bearcats, two receivers this near side, two to the far side. Blevins, the quarterback, takes a snap, drops back. He finds Klein Essler across the 45, across the 40. Downed it. They're going to down him right at the 40. 
Move they're the gonna move the sticks, just like Jake said. First down, right off the bat. Here we go. Two receivers this near side, two to the far side. Throw too high. Jacob Fletcher's taking his sweet time to get out here to the, get lined up. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know if he's not getting the play right off the bat or what. He, he he's kind of a. He got to get out here a little bit quicker than what he's got going on. Yeah, I mean we we can't be doing that. Uh, there he goes. Down twenty-seven. Must have hurt. Blevins drops back. Throw complete to Brady Lide who gets out of bounds, steps out of bounds after about a four-yard catch and run. That brings up third down and six for the Bearcat offense, almost assuredly in two-play territory, especially with the score. Pretty sure we're going to be in four-down territory the rest of the night. Yeah, got a point there. Two receivers this near side, two to the far side. Drops back. Blevins, quarterback draw. Right side, keeps moving forward. And he's going to have another first down right there. Big play for the Bearcats offense. Moving the six again. and uh, I like that. How, uh, you know, Comanche, they're up big. They think that we might, you know, just sit back and start throwing the ball a lot. And uh, that was a perfect look like a pass. Draw it off the right side. And uh, moving the chains again. Two receivers to this near side. Two to the far side. Once again, stay in this double set. Blaze Deaton or Cannon Cody? I can't tell. I believe that's uh, Cody. Yep. Garrett Blevins on the carry, though. Runs forward about a nine, eight or nine yard gain right there. Big run for the Bearcats. Yeah, I mean, I like this. Just they're, They came out and they're pretty much sticking to their guns. Yep, they really are. Second down and two. Ball spotted on Comanche's 21 yard line. Three receivers to the far side. One to this near side. Uh, Ooh, excuse me. One to this near side. Blevins drops back, throws, finds Ty Deaton. First down, Bearcats. Gets out of bounds, too. Starting yeah, that clock. That, that's big. <laughs> it's a long game, but we're going to need not to stall any possessions. We're going to need to get down the field and score and then yep. hold them on defense if we have any chance at all. Exactly. So, that's a good play call and good job by Deaton on Getting out of bounds and not trying to run up for some extra yards. Three receivers to the far side, one to this near side. Quarterback keeper, left side, Blevins fighting forward. It's about two yards is what it looks like on the spot. That's going to get out to the 16-yard line of Comanche. Bearcat offense is on the move after the onside recovery to start the second half. Going back to that, Jake, there just wasn't anybody for Comanche that was even thinking about that going on, huh? Three receivers to the far side. Throw. Oh, Clyde oh, Essler yeah. caught a touchdown. touchdown. There we go. That's what the Bearcat offense needed right there. Drive down the field, score a touchdown. Two Steal minutes. a possession right there. Yeah, that's great. Nice, nice job. Going back to that, Jake, like I was just talking, well, like I was talking about, there wasn't really anybody ready for Comanche. It's almost like that wasn't even a thought in their in their brain that no. the Bearcats could come out and do that. Kick is up, and it's good. Blevins puts it, makes or Blevins makes it 41-21, and now it's a 20-point ball game. 9:46 remaining in the third quarter. You're going to need some stops. Hey. But here we go. Do it again. Ah, yeah. do it. Brad says do it again. I think they might be ready for it this time. They're getting a pretty strong talk into <laughs> down here at the 50. But they're really not going to line up. Oh, yeah, there they, yeah, they are. Now would be the ideal time for a pooch over here on the num just by the bottom of the numbers now. Boy, that would be a wild sequence of events if the Bearcats were able to pull that one off. We'll see if these uh, back row guys widen out when it's all said and done. Could do like Valley View was doing last week, and that's just trying to peg them with it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true too. 
Boy, if somebody could ever get that down to an art, that would be something. Ball! Oh! And it's just fielded. They did, the Bearcats did try it again. Ball's going to be spotted at the 54 Comanche's offense here. Man, they were, that was kind of close, that, actually. That, Jake. <laughs> that was pretty close. <laughs> yeah. So Comanche will start their first possession of the second half from the 50-yard line. Welch has Wilkerson to his right. One receiver to the far side, one to the near side. He's got two backs to that behind that right tackle. Handoff, Wilkerson, barreling forward. That's a little power set right there, Jake, that they like to go to. And I think we can probably expect to see that for the rest of the night yeah, for the most part. They're going to try to run the ball. Yeah. Uh, oh, Mike's messing up. <laughs> Henry is just going to be like that. They got they got a tackle. Yeah. Well, chat to this right side, sprint out. He's going to keep running forward. Oh. And he's going to pick up a first down. Essler was in there trying to strip that ball away. But Welch holds on to it, and he picks up the first down out to the Bearcat 36-yard line now. That's going to be difficult to stop, just like it was in the first quarter. Yeah. In the, I mean, there, you see here we got the box stacked a little more. We have mm -hmm. eight up yeah. there. But, uh, I mean, and look, two yards. Yeah. I mean, play before run that 3-3 three three, they, they kind of had our back spread out a little bit yeah. they took it right right side they just have us outnumbered uh, when they run the quarterback mm -hmm. I mean big big factor in that's going to be so whenever they line up in that two it, they're going to go to like an ace formation here almost well drops back he's going to throw out to his receiver out there to the left and you're going to need a tackle Whoa. and forced out of bounds by Nick Mills but not before he picks up a first down that's number Eight. Well, Derek Henry stepped Six. from there, turned him around. Yeah, the Bearcat corners really are giving quite a bit of cushion here. But, I mean, in that first half, the way yeah. he was tossing the ball around, I mean, you kind of have to. Two receive or two, one receiver to the far side, one to the near side, handoff Wilkerson. He's fighting for yardage. They're doing an excellent Yeah, the Bearcats though. really are doing a nice job of bottling this team up on the inside so right now it's these outside runs that have been able to really break and for the, Comanche. And yeah, with the quarterback. Yep. They're going to stay with this little stacked set. One receiver to the far side, one to the near side. He's got two backs to his right and a third with Wilkers Wilkerson. Handoff. Faked. Pulled it and he threw it to number three and mm, just make didn't break tackle. down and make the tackle. Number three, Kyler Beatty runs in for another touchdown. Touchdown, Mills. Season on the line there. You you got to make that tackle. I mean, dive at his legs. Yeah. Do something. Anything, yeah. But try to take him high and get, get stiff armed. For sure. For sure. Six. Miguel Martinez will be the holder. Seventeen. Esquivel. And that extra point is good. That makes your score 47, or 48 for Comanche, 21 for the Bearcats. And now, the Bearcat offense will come right back onto the field in an attempt, in an attempt to get this thing to close that gap back up to uh, 20. Ah. Uh, Surely not, but I mean, I guess they could. We're we're doing it to them. Why not they do it right back to us? It could happen. <laughs> That'd be wild. That would be pretty wild. Brad says, "Please no." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a pretty decent little angle to that thing. I doubt he, I doubt he does. Esquivel on the kick. Nine McMills. Bryson Washington is going to come up and he's going to return this thing. He's going to get out to his right side. He's got a little bit of room if he can break a 
tackle or two, and he's going to get taken down at the 30. He had a little bit of room right there, Jake. He might have – I kind of thought he might have a chance. Yeah, yeah, he did. Uh, still starting at the 30. Get a nice little 70-yard drive here. And yeah. Punch it in. You do it pretty quick and then get a stop on defense. Yep. Another onside kick. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's probably about what the game plan is going to be the rest of the way through this thing. Two receivers to the far side, to this near side. Looks like doubles is going to be the set, too. Blaze Deaton to his right. Throws. Caught Miguel Longoria across the 45 to the 40. And just like that, here comes the Bearcat offense. Keep them rolling. Yep. Hurry, hurry. Nice catch by Miguel right there. This double set is kind of going to work for the Bearcats. Miguel Longoria is also a sophomore, so. Yep, he'll be back next year. Snap, throws, Ty Deaton, caught. Four-yard catch right there. Second down and six. 7-15 remaining in the third quarter. Two receivers to this near side. Two to the far side. Cody McMillan at the bottom of the screen. Ty Deaton in the slot to the bottom. Then it's Klein Essler in the slot and Miguel Longoria up top. Blevins, quarterback keeper, left side. Ooh. He's got some space across the 30, down at the 28, 29 yard lines where they're going to spot that first down Bearcats. They're moving the ball pretty well right now. That was a great block by Blaze Deaton. Uh, about 15 yards downfield. Most of the time you see a lineman right. running down there and getting a pancake. You you don't see a sophomore running back usually doing that. And, I mean, he flattened that kid. Cannon Cody is the back now. Three receivers to the far side, one to this near side. Drops back. Throws. Klein Essler. And a little flood he, Yeah, a little flood action. He's hit after about a two-yard catch. Clock continues to go down. Six minute or six ten remaining in the third quarter. Your score Comanche forty eight, Henrietta twenty one. Bearcats trying to get back into this thing. Three receivers to the far side, one to this near side. That's McMillan all alone over here. Blevins, quarterback keeper, left side. He's got some room. Here we go. 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Bearcats. Blevins punches it in. 5.49 remaining in the third quarter. And the Bearcats said, not going to count us out yet. No. Extra point pending. Bearcats could make it a 20-point ball game. If you're a gambling type, I hope you took the over. Yeah, the over is looking great right now for you. <laughs> Brad? <laughs> no. <laughs> You, you don't you don't want in on that one either. <laughs> two, we're gonna go for two here. Motion. Mm. And that hurts that. And the point of going for two would be to make it nineteen, or you're down nineteen. Hmm. Trying to do the math in my head to figure out why that would be the. We don't need to know what's going on in your head. Ah, uh, I know. Comparing uh, comparing the Garrett to Tom Brady earlier, I think I think we're pretty good on what's going on up there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> two receivers this near side to the far side, going for two here for the Bearcats. Drops back Blevins, and he's gonna get bottled up, and they. Two point try is going to be no good. So it's yeah. going to be a 21 point ball game. Yeah, and he had Deaton uh, right there in the middle, right in front of the goalpost. He was yeah, wide open. He just but didn't really have just, a whole lot of room, huh? No, he had, that, he had no time there. So, Bearcat offense, they score. Makes it 48 27. And yeah, just like you probably heard Scott say, we're probably going to expect an onside to come out of this thing here in just a second. Yeah, the special teams coach for Comanches down there. Yeah. He, he's pointing about two guys in the back, and everybody else, I think, is going to be up front. Mm hmm Yeah, they added, they added one. Yeah, yeah, they added one this time. 
You still got to protect the little pooch. I was about to say, Nick Mills has been really close to fielding those for the better part of all year, and there's a couple other really speedy guys on the outside that can do it too, or that can, they can also contribute to that as well. Nick is going to be at the top of the screen. He's going to be that far outside guy. Down here at the bottom, you got Deaton. Didn't get the tea out there quick enough. Oh, no. Well, surely, yeah. Coach, surely Coach Johnson wouldn't fire one of his own kids from tea responsibility, would he? <laughs> I think he'll. Job opportunity is open. Well. <laughs> if anybody. Yeah. <laughs> if anybody is looking for a tea holder. We'll see what we got going on for the Bearcats here. Blevins. Yep, it's there a pooch. It Nick Mills. Oh, hey, boy. But he f he caught it though. He fair he fair caught it too. Yeah, but there's still a flag down. Oh, that one stings. Kick off out of bounds. Oh, I guess he caught it out of bounds. Yeah, I guess so. All right, so the ball is going to be spotted at the 40-yard line of Comanche, and the Bearcats' defense, or this is where what we've been talking about, the Bearcats' defense needs to get a stop now. Hand off Wilkerson. He's got a lane. He's driving forward. Big run, or big first run for this drive right there. Six guys in the box with a guy that's 24, 2,500, creeping up on 2,500 yards for the season now, and you're doing hat for hat, and that, that you're not going to stop it. I mean, Welch, handoff, oh. Wilkerson, nope, it's wrapped up immediately. Guess who? <laughs> Will Jaton, or like we like to call him, <clears throat> Bulldog. That's right. He gets back there and makes a play, and this is where the Bearcats have needed uh, Comanche to be all game. Second and long, third and long. This is right where we want them. Now, you can probably get a little bit soft in this in our coverage, and we need to protect these seams. Welch has Wilkerson to his left. Takes the snap. Hand off Wilkerson. Gaining yards, and he gets up to just about the original line of scrimmage. He's going to bring third and ten. And here we go. Big, big down for the Bearcat defense right here. Yeah, big, big third down. You got to have a stop here if you're – well, any chance at coming back in this game. Yep. Uh, 21 point difference right now. Yep. The, they need the ball back. Drops back. Pump fake. Deep all, ball. All the time. Right side. Oh, complete. And he fights oh. his way in to the end zone. Huge play for Comanche right there. The Bearcat defense thought they had him. And he and Nick Mills does everything he can right there to try and make up for it. Got a little beaten or got a little behind him on the double move. And that's number three, Kyler Beatty. He's having a good day receiving for Comanche and a nice throw right there by Layden Welch. Yeah, that was Man. That's another good pass to yeah. the sideline just I think it's up, and it's good. I think it took so long. I mean, he had a ton of time back there, I think. Right. I think Mills just kind of fell asleep. Maybe thought the, thought the play was kind of over back there, and uh, he rattled one off down the yeah, side. Yeah, he so really did. 55-27, 4-10 remaining in the third quarter. Bearcat offense going to have to come on the field and score quick again to help themselves. And give the defense another try to get a to get another stop. To try to get back in this ball game. We're gonna have Nick Mills, Ty Cantwell, and Bryson Washington going back. Esquivelle is gonna line up to kick. Some score updates. Whitesboro, 39. Vernon, 6. That one's at Memorial Stadium. 
or Joe Golding Field. I don't. I, I think that's what they call that thing now. And up there in Wichita, Hershey putting Hillsboro away at some point tonight. 42-7 is the current score in that one. Holiday 24, Merkel 6 in the third quarter. Callisburg 27, Millsap 20 in their ball game. In our ball game, here comes Ty Cantwell. Gets to the right side. He's got a little bit of a lane across the 30 to the 34, 35 yard line. And that's where the Bearcat offense will get started at. Yeah, he had a nice little crease right there. Slivered on through there a little bit. And now, try, here comes the Bearcat offense. Right? Trying to do his Garrett Blevins impression. Yeah, he really slide, did. Slide yeah. through them guys. But. He's had some good returns tonight. He really has. Bearcat offense in a trip set. Jacob Fletcher by himself down here at the bottom. Drops back. Throws. Klein Esser caught. Keeps his feet and rolls forward and picks up. Probably, a th I hope they're going to spot him. They're going to give him about a three-yard gain right there on that reception. So the Bearcat offense gets going with a screen up top. Three receivers to this near side, or to the far side, one to the near side. Blevins drops back. He's going to look for a little alleyway. If he can oh, 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, Man. touchdown. We've got a flag on the play. Yeah. We've got a flag on the play, though, and it's probably going to go against the Bearcats, unfortunately. Yeah, we got, we got two. We got uh, 52. Uh, Aiden Fugit and I believe 67 mm. uh, Barrett Thornton um, uh, both of them mm. held on just a little too long big play by Blevins right there what's he at right now Jake is the live are the live stats are they do they kind of fix themselves yeah, let me right there I'm, I'm wondering what Blevins is at running right now let me pull it back up He's at 15 carries, 173 yards, and two touchdowns. He's having a good night. Klein Essler, six receptions, 50, uh, 54 yards a touchdown. And on the other side, uh, Leighton Welch is at 11 for 15, 248, five TDs total. Whew. Sawyer Wilker, uh, Wilkerson, 22 carries, 224 yards, and a tutty. Levins drops back. He's got Blaze Deaton out to that right side. He's got yeah, oh, Blaze can scoot, say, man. If you can get if you can get Blaze out in space like that, you'll take it all the time. He just that sideline yeah. just caught up to him. I've always heard that referred to as the twelfth defender. Better than the twelfth man. <sighs> that was unnecessary. <laughs> Three receivers to this near side, one to the far side. Blevins has Cannon Cody as his back. Drops back, throws. He's got Cannon Cody out to this Ooh. left side. He can scoot a little bit too. He gets across the original line of scrimmage. Did you hear that? What? Whoop! <laughs> a little Chris Berman, that yeah. whoop action. You get these backs out into space, and you can uh, you can get a little more going with this offense. This is another added dynamic to this team. Brings up fourth and eight. So the Bearcats are going to have to get across their own 45-yard line to keep the offense on the field here. Offensive line needs to hold up right here, give Blevins some time. Receivers need to run some nice crisp routes and get across Drops back. Blevins. Throw it away. Throw it away. Oh. Oh. Incomplete. And it was fourth oh. down. Yeah. Did not notice that. Yeah. No, it was fourth down. Throwing it away wasn't going to really help us there. No. Well, I guess it would have really and truly. They, Comanche starts at the 40 or the 38-yard line or 37-yard line, sorry. As opposed to, if he'd have gotten sacked, they could have started at the 20. So, yeah, I guess I, it, I guess that is a win when it's all said and done. Comanche's offense takes the field. Welch, the quarterback. Wilkerson, the running back, to his right. 
Hand off Wilkerson. Welch keeps it. Nice little read right there by him. He held that thing in there late and then carried, and then took off with it. Big five-yard gain, six-yard gain right there for Welch. Yeah, and really that's that's kind of been all game. You know, that first quarter Wilkerson had a big one and the second quarter run towards the end, but that that option run option that they that they've been running, they've really been taking taking advantage of it tonight. Mm -hmm. Well, there carries it out to the right side. Boy, he gets hit by Michael Dell Williams right there. He kind of lost balance, and then Michael Dell comes in there and gives him a pretty good little shot. That hurt my back just watching it. Yeah, that one. Mm. Comanche looking at the sideline, eating up clock. 130 remaining in the third quarter. Bearcats trail 55-27. Comanche moving the ball. One receiver to the far side, one to the near side. Wilkerson on the handoff, right side, and he runs over Cody McMillan. But McMillan hangs on to make the tackle, and it's about a four-yard gain. And I don't, and I think if McMillan doesn't make that tackle, I think he's, I think Wilkerson's probably scooting in for six right there. Yeah. What's he at yards-wise right now? Just out of curiosity here. Mm, he's at 228 now. He's had a nice little game running, but he's had some really long runs that really helped boost that number. Welch, handoff Wilkerson. And he's off to the left side, and that's going to be another one. Yep. Touchdown. Add 23 to it. And I'm, the Bearcat sideline is wanting a hold. Yeah. And they're not going to get it. That's going to be a touchdown. Yeah, Cole Scribner. Uh, I guess felt like he got hold, held, and so did the whole coaching staff over there. So, mm -hmm. Comanche's got a pretty cool little deal that they do for every touchdown. They're throwing confetti up on their sideline, so every time they score a touchdown, we're getting a can well, big yeah, we're getting a big ball of confetti up and right here in front of us. They're not at home either, so they're yeah. I guess don't have to clean it up. Boy, yeah, I was I was kind of thinking about that earlier. Weatherford probably isn't very happy about yeah. <laughs> probably probably isn't very happy about that. But that's why they pay the maintenance guys, I guess. I mean, they've thrown that thing up nine times. Yeah, they've had. Yeah. You think they're gonna run out? You think they plan to? Do you think they have like a set amount that they bring? I have no idea. Do you remember, Brad? You might remember it a little bit better. Do you remember? The uh, Rangers. Oh yeah, there was the Rangers game. Oh, it was that. It was at the old ballpark in Arlington. But the Rangers hit so many home runs one day that the firework guy left early. And they had video of the firework guy, <laughs> and they had video of him leaving early. I don't know if they. I don't know if they just like capped it and said, "Hey, that that's enough for today," or if that was a. Uh, he really did run out. <laughs> Hope. Hopefully we're not in a drought next year because I heard some rumors the other day that uh, Henrietta's getting the fireworks next year for touchdowns. <laughs> 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 Mr. Clay, <laughs> don't think so. Look to that one. Look, Bryson Washington fields it. He's gonna get off to the right side, looking for some room. Yep, and, and that's a flag. Come back. <laughs> that's how rumors get started, right there, isn't it, Scott? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> As we await the head official. Blindside block against the Bearcats. That's going to move the starting position of the offense back. Yeah. Brad's saying it was a little, they're calling that a little more egregious than he probably would have called it. Bearcat offense will get started from the their own nine yard line, so they're backed up into their own red zone here, or into their own end zone, excuse me. Two receivers to the far side, two to this near side. Blevins has Deaton to his right. Takes a snap, handoff, Blaze Deaton, left side. He's got Take it. Take off. Take off. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 
Yep, down at the 50. Nice run by Blaze Deaton. That hole opened up wide, Jake. That yep. was a – we could see that one great from our vantage point. Yeah, that, that was a great run and a uh, great way of protecting the ball right when that guy – number eight must have some wheels too catching him. Yeah. Because I know, I know Blaze can I guess it's sure run. Mm -hmm. Two receivers to this near side, two to the far side. Throws. He's There's got Deaton out here to this left side, and he gets across. I think he's going to get spotted at the 42. Nope, 43-yard line of Comanche. So just like that, the Bearcat offense is on the move. Here, we're headed to the fourth quarter. That's Deaton reception right there. No, yeah. End of the third quarter. Bearcats trail 62 to 27 to the Comanche Indians. The Comanche is going to go on if they win and hold on to this ball game. They're going to go on and play the winner of the Bells Blooming Grove game, which we looked at earlier, and that score was 35 to nothing. I think that was in the third quarter as well. Got a little dance cam going. Dance cam. There you go. Gosh, I hope they uh, show us. That would be fun. Huh? That's Cruz Coleman. Cruz Coleman getting the getting the little action up there. Uh, Merkel Holiday, 24-12. Merkel making a game of it with Holiday. Boy, that would be something. Bearcats go two receivers to the far side, two to this near side as we start the fourth quarter. Oh my goodness. <laughs> False start against the Bearcat offense, and that's going to be on everybody except the center. Logan King forgot that he needed to snap the ball, or everybody just thought that Logan King snapped the ball. Here we go. Two receivers to the far side, two to the near side. Second down and eight. Blevins on the carry. Keeps getting pushed forward. That's going to be out to the 45-yard line, and that's going to be four or third down and five. So the Bearcats' offense is moving down the field. Big third down here. Huge, huge third down. No. I'm gonna have two downs yeah. anyways, but yeah, yeah, but you nice you, you definitely want to get it on third down here. They're just manning up. Cross back, throws, caught, take it. There he is. Through, keeps his feet, and he gets across the forty down to the thirty-six yard line, and that's gonna bring up another Bearcat first down. They're moving the ball really well right here. Evans. He's got Cannon Cody to his right. He's got two receivers to this near side, two to the far side. There's a snap, handoff. Cannon Cody out to this left side, finding room. Leans forward, gains about four on the play. So Cannon Cody with a no, with a big run. Second down and six for the Bearcat offense. They're moving down the field. Ball spotted at Comanche's 35-yard line. Blevins takes a snap, drops back, throws. Ty Deaton. And it's going to be about a three-yard catch. It's going to bring up about third and four, third and three. So the Bearcats have to get across the Comanche 28-yard line to pick up a first down. Third and four is what the scoreboard's saying. Two receivers to the far side, to this near side. Blevins takes a snap. He's going to keep it himself. He's going to run. Oh, Keeps oh. fighting forward. Nice run by Blevins. I thought he was going to do it again. Yeah, he he almost did. He, he just lost a little bit of his footing, but he dove forward and made sure he picked up the first down. Ball's going to be spotted at the 29-yard line. So first down, Bearcats. They're moving right along here. 
10 minutes remaining in the ball game. Three receivers this near side. One to the far side. Blevins rolling out to his right side. He's looking for a man. Throws. Threw it up there. And I think more or less kind of throwing that one away. Yeah, I kind of think he was throwing that thing away too. He had Miguel Longoria down there, but it just I don't think that ball definitely didn't have enough depth on it to get there. So it's going to bring up second down. I'm not I'm not unhappy with that. You know, no. try try you know try a little something for sure, especially as much as easy as you've been able to run the ball so far, it seems like. Blevins has Cannon Cody to his left. He's going to be a quarterback keeper. Left side. Blevins gaining yards. Gets inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. That's going to bring up another third and short. I love how McMillian's still out there. I mean, he's he's hooking up with his guys and blocking all the way throughout the play. I mean, mm -hmm. down 35 with nine and a half minutes left in the fourth. Be kind of pretty easy to give up, but mm -hmm. uh, these guys are sticking with it, and they're they're playing hard. Blevins takes a snap, drops back, throws. Oh, oh intercepted. It was over, he overthrew Ty Deaton right there, and he goes right into the arms of number six, Miguel Martinez. So big turnover right there for Comanche. Their offense will take the field again. Ball's going to be spotted at their own 18-yard line. And that's just kind of the – that's one of the bad things about the Bearcat offense. They run all hitches right there, and gets ball gets overthrown to your inside slot receiver, and it goes right into the hands yep. of their corner. Handoff. That's Wilkerson, and he brings it to his left side. Why is he still <laughs> Yeah, I'm – that's your guy. Yeah, there's uh, Brad started. So, what well, Brad's bringing up right there is why is you've got two. Of, I'm sure you've got more than two of your starters. It looks like the whole entire starting offense is still out there. It's uh, you've got the ball with 35 or with a 35 point lead, and you're gonna take a deep ball shot they're, that lands at the 50, but it's incomplete. And they're trying to run it up. Yeah, they uh. Back. Yeah, I mean, you're, and, you know, if we wouldn't have beat them in 09, they may not be trying to run up the ball, run up the score like this. It's, I don't, you yeah. could kind of blame Jake, I guess, when it's all said and done. There might still be some animosity towards the Bearcats for squeaking out that win. I'll go down there and pad up right now. <laughs> <laughs> Handoff Wilkerson. He's looking for space, and he is just Ooh. absolutely on the move right there. He had some great, great yeah. running back moves right there. I think he stepped over a guy at one point, juked a little bit to the left, and he found this outside lane, and he picked up a big first down right there. Got half of his name ripped off his jersey also. <laughs> Welch has Wilkerson to his right. Hand off Wilkerson. And he is hit just about as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage. Ball, that's going to be second down. Ball spotted on the Comanche 31 yard line. Six? Is that what you're telling me, Brad? Six? 16. 16. Cannon Cody gets in there on the tackle. Yeah, you would think at 26 carries, 254 yards, and two touchdowns would be enough uh, for <laughs> Wilkerson uh, being up 62 to 27. Yeah, yeah. I mean, seven and a half minutes left. I mean, yeah, yeah. You, this team kind of lives and or lives and goes with these two guys right here. Well, I mean, yeah, and I, I mean, he's a sophomore too. Yeah, I mean, 21 was on the carry right there. He gets a small gain. It's going to bring up third and about eight. Ah, seven. Third and seven. Four. 
the Comanche offense in their own territory. Snap to Welch. Hand off. Nope. He kept it. He's going to break up the middle. He hurdles a man. Keeps running. And he gets across the 40 down to the Bearcat 35. Huge run on a read option right there for Welch. Mm. Yeah, that one hurts. You had them uh, You had them in ideal territory and just and they squeak through there. Welch comes to the line of scrimmage. He's got Wilkerson to his left. That's going to be a handoff. Nope, read option right at the middle. And Welch gains about. No, oh, he gets back to the line of scrimmage. He might have gained a half a yard. Yeah, I think his knee popped down. Then. Cody again. Yep, Cannon Cody again making a tackle. Uh, they kind of went to a little underneath fake to Ezekiel Madrino right there he kind of came back towards Welch and he got in on the read option action right there a little wrinkle that they decided to throw at the Bearcat defense but they were ready for it that time Welch has Wilkerson to his right handoff Wilkerson he's up to the uh, inside the I 20 mean, down to the 15 it looks like nope Ball's going to be spotted at the 14. It's like they, they've just completely worn down this defense. Yeah, they really have. They really have. This is right up there. This is, I mean, this is exactly what this defense or offense wants to do. You know, they want to get in these kind of uh, – they want to get late in the games. They want to be able to run the ball at will, and that's exactly what they're doing right here. You would think that – this would be the last possession that we would see, Wilkerson especially. Thought that the one before. Yeah, that's true. He gets out to this outside. I mean, and Michael Dell Williams comes up and makes a tackle on Wilkerson. He really did get his name name ripped off, huh, Jake? That thing's just kind of flapping behind him. Quite a few of them do. No. Oh. I think they took an iron to their jerseys right before they got here and uh, got them names melted yeah, on a little bit. Yeah. He's going to need to uh, – they're going to have to redo it before next week's game. Play comes in. Welch has Wilkerson to his right. Second down. There's a snap. Welch is going to keep it. Almost on the tackle is Bulldog. He almost made that one. But Welch gets free. He gets uh, out to the nine-yard line before he's wrapped up. Third down and five. Ball spotted on the Bearcat nine-yard line. 335 remaining in the ball game. Comanche leading 62-27. to 27. Two receivers, one on one side, one on the other. Read option, Welch right up the middle for a Comanche touchdown. That's going to make it 68 to 27 with 316 remaining in the ball game. Here comes Esquivel. Number six, Miguel Martinez is going to be the holder. Snap. Hold is good. Kick is up. And it is good as well. 69 to 27 is your score. Bearcats trail in their by district playoff game. <laughs> Boy, I hope not. Coming back for the Bearcats, let's take a look at this, Jake. Cody McMillian, Eric Sykes, 
Garrett Blevins, Nick Mills, Miguel Longoria, Blaze Deaton, Ty Cantwell, Luke Alexander, Cannon Cody, Colton Morris, Talon Stone, Klein Essler, Blaine Mayfield, Aiden Fugit, Will Jaton, Bulldog, Jace Jennings, Hunter Campbell, Barrett Thornton, Sonny Burke. Logan King's name says junior, but he was out there for senior night last week, so I'm almost positive that he is not coming back next week. Next year. Yeah, yeah, next year. Sorry. The uh, that's a pretty good little list of guys coming back, Jake. Yeah, they got a they got a lot of guys that are playing uh, and playing a lot coming back next year. So here's one of them right here. Ty Cantwell off to this right side. Can't even break a tackle. He cannot, but he gets across the 35. He's had some really good returns tonight, Jake. Yeah. Showing a lot, of, showing a lot with his speed and everything like that. I know the JV has quite a few kids that are coming up. Or that'll probably come up and play some pretty crucial minutes next year as well. The big grades to look forward to. It will be next year's freshman class and next year's eighth grade class. I think the sixth grade class has got some kids as well. They paired up really well with the fifth grade. Yeah, group, fit, the uh, fifth grade team this year. Third grade team uh, lost in the championship this past weekend. Yep. Fourth grade won the championship, and yep. if I'm not mistaken, went undefeated. Yep. And fifth and sixth grade also went, uh, I believe they went undefeated and won the championship I think also. You're, I think you hit the nail on the head with that report of the uh, Pee Wee kids. They, uh, which all of them had really good years because so the, what happens is normally is it's the third and the fourth grade is one team and then the fifth and sixth grade is one team there's enough third and fourth graders that i think from my understanding is that the fourth grade played up in the big school uh division of that and then the third grade group played down in the small school division of that is what i under is what i thought i understood i may be wrong about that blevins takes a deep shot down the field miguel longoria I think is who that intended receiver was. Yep, that's Miguel. You know, that's a that's they almost a, connected on that. That's a miss right there. But yeah, uh, next year you got to feel really good about uh, Longoria there being a sophomore and Blevins uh, being a junior, both coming back. Blevins, uh, he'll have both hands mm -hmm. uh, healthy mm -hmm. next year, yep. and he'll also have a full off season, uh, getting to play seven on seven and all that. The, Seven on seven programs really, really kind of taken off good here, and uh, that that helps a lot more than uh, you'd think, especially uh, in the pass game. Yes, number sixteen on a screen. That's Cannon Cody catches that, and gets across the line of scrimmage. That's going to be fourth and about four, or it's going to be about fourth and one, two, three, four, fourth and five coming up for the Bearcat offense. We'll have to take a second, recognize our seniors playing their last game tonight and then they'll become officially like me miles and jake up here in the booth alumni of the bearcat football program brady Lied, ty deaton ashton roderick cole scribner michael dell williams jacob fletcher logan taylor evan evangelista go oh, baby caden ryder oh, oh, nice. here comes garrett Blevins. On, big run inside the 20 huge fourth down play right there Jacob Reed, Colby Vilecki, Connor Olbig, Camden Burleson, and or Bogan King and Caleb Wallace. So, welcome to the alumni brethren, guys. It's not nearly as fun as getting to play anymore, but it's still something. Might find yourself up in a booth calling the game someday. Blevins. Takes off to the right side. He's still fighting for yards inside the 15, down to the 11 or 12. And with that, uh, that big last run or the run right before that, Blevins went over 200 yards for the night. He's at 233 yards on the ground with two touchdowns, 24 for 38, uh, 156 yards passing, uh, touchdown, and uh, two interceptions. What'd you say his total is for tonight, Jake? 233, 233 at this point. For Comanche, uh, you had their quarterback, Welch, go 11 for 16, 248, and five touchdowns. Uh, Sawyer Wilkerson, 30 carries, 295, 
and two touchdowns. Blevins is going to end up, unless he just adds a little bit to that total, like he could right here. No, nope. he's going to get wrapped up in the backfield. Clock's going to keep winding. 15, 13, 12, 10. Bearcat offense or Bearcat coaches are saying, hurry up, hurry up. Still saying hurry up. Snap. Snap did get to him. Throws. Incomplete. That's going to be ball game. Uh-oh. No, come on. Who is that? That's going to be your ball game. With that run by Blevins, he's going to hover, and he's just going to come just short of a 1,500-yard season. Great after, season. After, after, I mean, still a phenomenal season. Uh, he finishes... What do you have? Uh, what do you have rushing touchdowns wise tonight to add to that thing? He had 14, and then yeah, three else? tonight probably. Is that right? Let's say I just had it up. Uh, he had two on the ground tonight, one in the air. Yeah. So he totaled for 13 in the air on the season, and 13 interceptions, uh, but 17 touchdowns uh, on the ground. So. <laughs> 1,061 yards is where he, oh, is their total? Our total. Oh, between both teams? My goodness. Thousand, wow. 1,061 thousand, thousand total yards tonight between both teams on offense. That's a pretty good night for offense. And the Bearcats really did. You know, there was plenty of times in this game where you thought, man, maybe they can get back into this. Comanche's offense just a little too explosive tonight. They, uh, they were able to do just about anything they wanted to at will. Uh, it's gonna be That's a decent little ball club over there. They've got a lot of guys coming back next year and the year after as well. So they're going to be a force to be reckoned with for the next couple of years whenever you see their names. Uh, I guess that just about wraps us up here and for the football season here. We will uh, we'll send this thing off. We're going to head back home to... Uh, Henry to back to the seven six three six five four. Brad Yurko, Jake Robertson, and Miles Marshman. And hey, why not give a shout out to Mr. Scott Clayton sitting behind us tonight here, giving us our stats all year. I'm Zach Byers. We appreciate y'all listening all year. Appreciate y'all following along. We hope it's been just as fun for y'all as it has been for us this year. With that, go Bearcats. We'll see y'all down the road.